The Ishan system is being developed to offer healthcare providers an alternative, minimally invasive method of treating communicating hydrocephalus, a condition of excess cerebrospinal fluid accumulation in the brain. The Ishan system consists of endovascular delivery componentry and a permanent implant that shunts cerebrospinal fluid from the intracranial subarachnoid space to the venous system. This novel treatment approach has the potential to significantly improve patient outcomes and substantially decrease the overall cost of surgical treatment of this life-threatening condition. We will now examine each step in the eShunt procedure. Percutaneous venous access is first established in the femoral vein using standard access tools. A guide catheter, microcatheter, and guide wire are advanced through the venous vasculature and through the internal jugular vein to gain access to the inferior petrosal sinus, or IPS. Once the microcatheter is in place, the guide wire is exchanged for the Eshant anchor. The anchor is advanced through the microcatheter and deployed in the distal IPS, or cavernous sinus, distal to the target implantation site. The microcatheter is then removed from the patient, leaving the flat rail extending through the vasculature into the femoral venous access point. The anchor is a temporary delivery component that will be removed by the microcatheter after eShunt implant deployment. The eShunt delivery catheter is configured to receive the flat rail within a dedicated rapid exchange lumen and is advanced over the flat rail through the vasculature and into the IPS. Once the delivery catheter reaches the target implantation site within the IPS, needle positioning and orientation is confirmed with imaging. A beveled RO marker is present on the needle guard and is aligned with the needle bevel prior to needle guard retraction. This enables visualization of needle orientation under fluoroscopic guidance. An RO marker is also present on the delivery catheter shaft, proximal to the needle. The needle guard is retracted to expose the needle using a knob on the delivery catheter handle. When the two RO markers converge, the needle guard is fully retracted and the needle is exposed. The delivery catheter is then advanced across the dura to access the cerebellopontine angle cistern or CPA cistern. The implant malacot is deployed into the CPA cistern from within the delivery catheter needle. The delivery catheter is withdrawn to deploy the remainder of the implant into the IPS and internal jugular vein and then removed from the patient. Once the implant is in place, the microcatheter is reinserted over the flat rail and advanced into the IPS beyond the deployed implant. The anchor is recaptured into the microcatheter and removed from the patient to complete the procedure.